In the previous video, we have mentioned some rules. One of our rule was that when mod of x is equals to k, then it is equivalent to x is equals to k and x is equals to minus k. We call this our rule number two. We can extend that rule for inequalities. So if mod of x is less than equals to k, then by extending this rule, we can say that x less than equals to k and x is minus k and here will be some inequality but this inequality will not be less than equals to because of this minus sign the inequality will switch from less than equal to to greater than equals to whenever we have a minus sign then inequality will change similarly we can extend this rule for greater than equal to inequality so if mod of x is greater than equals to k then x will be greater than equals to k and x once again our inequality will switch from greater than equals to to less than equals to because of the minus sign less than equals to minus k so in case of minus our original inequality will switch from greater than to less than from less than to greater than so this is our new rule number two. Our rule number three was that if mod of x is equals to k and k is a positive number, then we can say that x square is equals to k square as long as k is a positive number. Similarly, we can extend it for these inequalities but we have to be sure that k is a positive number. For example, if we say mod of x is less than equals to k, then that means x square is less than equals to k square. Or when mod of x is greater than equals to k, then it is same as saying x square is greater than equals to k. Once again, k must be positive in these cases. This is our rule number three. Let's do some example to make these rules clear. In our first example, we are given mod of 3x minus 2 is less than or equals to 4 because 4 is a positive number. So we can use our rule number 2 and rule number 3, either one of them, and we can find our answer. I'm using rule number two. We have to find x here. So according to rule number two, I can write 3x minus two is less than equals to four. And I say this is my equation number one. Similarly, I can write 3x minus two is greater than or equals to minus 4 because of the minus sign this inequality will switch from less than to greater than i say this is my equation number 2 now let's solve equation number 1 and find a value of x so according to equation number 1 we will have 3x is less than or equals to 4 plus 2 and so x is less than equals to 6 over 3 so x is less than equals to 2 now using equation 2 we have 3x is greater than equals to minus 2 and x is greater than or equals to minus 2 over 3 and now we can write both of those results in a single line as x is less than or equals to 2 
and greater than or equals to minus 2 over 3 and this is our answer we can write them separately also it's same thing now let's do another example in the second example we have two mod functions so we are given a mod of 2x minus 1 is greater than or equals to mod of 3 minus x and we have to find x let's solve In this case, I will be using rule number 3 because rule number 3 is more easier to use in this case than rule number 2. I could have used rule number 2 also. So 2x minus 1 whole square is greater than or equals to 3 minus x whole square. In this case, we can use rule number 2 because of the mode both left hand side and right hand side are positive integers. If my uh, right hand side is a negative number then I can't use rule number 3. So now let's expand it. It is 4x square minus 4x plus 1 is greater than or equals to 9 minus 6x plus x square. Now we simplify it. 4 minus 1 will be 3x square minus 4 and plus 6x will be equal to plus 2x 1 and minus 9 will be equal to minus 8 greater than or equals to 0. Now we will use our quadratic equation to find answer and we know that equation is that x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. This is my a, this is my b and this is my c. So minus 2 plus minus 2 square is 4 minus 4 a is 3 and c is minus 8 over 2 times 3 and it simplifies to minus 2 plus minus 4 12 times 8 plus 96 over 6 and this simplifies to minus 2 plus minus 10 over 6 and this is equal to minus 2 plus 10 over 6 which is 8 over 6 that is 4 over 3 and minus 2 minus 10 over 6 which is minus 12 over 6 equals to minus 2. So my one answer is minus 2 and another answer is 4 over 3. We have two values minus 2 and 4 over 3. We have to write those values in terms of inequalities. For the positive value, we will use the same sign, the original sign, that is greater than or equals to. For the negative value, we will switch this sign of greater than or equals to to less than or equals to. So our final result will be that x is greater than or equals to 4 over 3. And x is less than or equals to minus 2. So that is our final result.